Roy McDonough, so often the club's leading goal scorer, is suspended, and Gary Bennett gets his chance to lead the attack. So that's how Colchester United line up. Uh, Ian Atkins, the player manager, told me he'd play a flat back four. But you never really can guess until the match gets underway. This is the way I think the team will line up with Bennett and Leeworthy leading the attack and Daniels, Atkins, Elliott and Osborne playing at the back. Kettering have John Graham fit to lead their attack after recovering from a hamstring injury. He was Kettering's main injury worry. He plays alongside number seven, Dougie Keith, the captain, who's recovered from an inflamed appendix. Paul Anson is the man who drops out. He wears number 14. Now Kettering will play, one suspects, with a back five, with Huxford and Keith pushed forward wide into midfield as the as they uh, might with Kettering on the attack. It's Graham and Cook, the two up front. So that three-man midfield could well be a five-man midfield as well. Well, plenty of noisy local supporters, cultures to take to the field. But Kettering pressed forward from the start. And Osborne, I think I'll uh, give him credit for allowing that ball to drop over his head. Takes the throw now of Colchester. Graham flicks it on. Warren Donald helps it forward. Ready free kick, which uh, Mario Walsh will take. Atkins wanted to take that a little bit quicker than the referee would allow him. Helps it wide to Osborne. Brown. Good ball forward towards Graham. Should be an easy back pass for Sean Elliott. Now Mario Walsh can certainly cause problems inside an opponent's penalty area. 17 goals this season. Do you like the player? Yes, I've seen him score vital goals for Colchester. He's done very well since his transfer from South End. And, um, you know, they'll be trying to get a lot of balls in the box for his heading ability. We're going to miss McDonough tonight. I suspect he might play as a target man. Absolutely, yeah. The, the, what they do... Normally, Colchester will try to play a lot of football. Brown, yes, one nil! What a goal by Brown! Well, he caught us all napping there. Phil Brown with a delicious strike after seven minutes. The flick on by Graham. Elliot dived in, and how about that for finish, Barry? Great opportunity goal. He's just turned and shot from 30 yards and it's gone right over the goalkeeper's head and right in the corner of the net. Bad bounce, but Graham done well, he's just turned and struck it for goal. You don't score unless you shoot and that's gone right in the top corner, in off the post. Tremendous start for Kettering. So Osborne with the throw. And they have a free kick here, Colchester United. Really have Mario Walsh to aim at in terms of a target man, the big striker David Leeworth is uh, a six footer. He really doesn't have the sort of lankiness or heading ability of Mario Walsh. Atkins to take it. They've got to put those chances away. Daniels had it. Kevin Blackwell came for the ball. Another set piece, Atkins, good delivery in. Had a great chance there, Kevin Blackwell come off his line and only need a, a, his header to hit the target and it was in. Hedman, plenty of space now. Gets it wide, looking for Bennett. Hedman looks for the return. Moses to get it across. Hedman forcing it goalwards. Blackwell with a save. That's the first run we've seen with the Edmund have normally is his strength. He's made a good run, a good ball out to Bennett, who eventually delivers a good ball. A little flick on and a good save by Kevin Blackwell, low to his left. Well done. Oh. An unfortunate flash of heads. Both physiotherapists on the field instantly. 
can already see blood. One of them is uh, Mario Walsh. He's got a cut to his head. Trevor Slack. Slack, the other player. The referee's very sensible there. Instantly called on both physiotherapists and uh, Mario Walsh. Bad cut, bad collision. They both went down immediately and the referee stopped the game immediately. Two brave players. So Trevor Slack hobbles off. But Mario Walsh sadly is carried off. Colchester United are going to make their substitution immediately. Looks like uh, Steve McGavin. I think this lad will change the game, I do. Rudy Hedman. Lined himself up for the shot, comes wide. Finding McGavin, the substitute. Has Bennett available. Did well. Nice looking chip. English. Donald. Good move by Colchester United. Great start to the second half from Colchester. They've come out very positive, taking the game to get in. Great move outside right position. The substitute McGavin, the little trick that he's got. A great cross. A good head back across the goal. Good strike from Donald. Kevin Blackwell held it well. Edmund screaming for the ball down this right-hand side. That one headed clear, though, by Paul Nicholl. Warren Donald. Osborne. Elliott on the halfway line. Oh, oh half a chance here. Bennett. Oh, lovely finish. Great goal there. Colchester are finding their men better. Great flick on Bennett's first to react, sharp in the box, got in front, good volley, in off the underside of the bar, great goal. His first goal of the season by my reckoning, oh what a clean strike it was. Good volley, in the roof of the net. Seems to be sorted out now, Dougie Keese with a cross. Oh! A real chance for Robbie Cook. And Scott Barrett made a very, very good save for Colchester United. That's a good ball. Here's McGavin. Looks very, very confident on the ball. Drags it this way and that pass. Keys across the face of goal. They're queuing up on the back post. Osborne now. Wide to English. Shot there, first to the ball, which Colchester have been since half time. They're pouncing on all the loose balls, playing good football. Here's Dougie Keith for catching. So he gets a few uh, points from the judges for the dive. Warren Donald claiming that uh, Dougie Keith tried to con the referee there. Here we go. He really likes to get stuck in, though, Warren Donald. 
Yeah, Dougie Keith's been a, been a great player for Kettering all season. Though. Good utility player, he's played here, there and everywhere. And got a great goal that uh, was the winning goal against Colchester when Kettering played him at home. Bancroft floats one in, might come through to the back post. Oh, oh on your day, those go in. And when it's not your day, they fly over the top. Robbie Cook so close great. to putting Kettering back into this match. Great little chip from Bancroft. Robbie Cook, great goal scorer, great opportunity that, but not hit the target. Bennett now, he's caused problems for Kettering. McGavin just flicked that one into the box, but it's clear. Donald. And they're trying all sorts now. There's David Leeworthy with that shot. The team playing with confidence. And a few uh, ball tricks to by Scott Barrett. He's feeling confident. He's saved a couple of uh, important shots for Colchester this evening. Phillips leaves that one to his goalkeeper, Kevin Blackwell. to lose this game it's going to be very very difficult for them now yes the 5,000 crowd have waited till the end despite the appalling weather conditions all credit to both sides though they're very entertaining Robbie Kilk still prepared to try something a little bit different but on this occasion over the top again. And Altrincham's lead at the top of the GM Vauxhall Conference is short-lived. Less than 24 hours because Colchester United go top tonight after beating Kettering by three goals to one and in doing so had to come from behind.